We want to have a great video product that includes all the services. Viacom has had difficulties. They've got a new CEO, Bob Backus. He's doing, you know, he's got a great strategy, uh, and he wants to execute on it. So we did a deal, and I think it, that deal is good for Viacom, and it, it's good for Charter. They're going to, you know, uh, work out their problems, they hope, and, uh, and build a better service. And uh, they've already got some numbers working in their direction. And, uh, you know, we wanted to have a long-term relationship with them, and we do. And, right. uh, Yes, it's, it's a different relationship, and yes, the leverage was changed because of their performance, but, uh, but our goal working with them was to carry them and to carry them at the proper value and to um, go forward together. That proper value seems to be something of a shock to some investors this morning who were sending Viacom shares down, though not as badly as they were earlier. Uh, clearly, you got a deal that was different than the one you had previously. Well, it was different, but it, you know, it, it was different in many ways. And it, but, but fundamentally, it was designed for them to be successful and us to be successful. We did some creative things together. Well, what does that mean? Well, we, we agreed to create new programming uh, together out of their studios uh, that we would have an ownership interest in, and uh, and to put that programming in an on-demand environment for a period of time and to share the value of that content creation. Um, we agreed to reposition their services, which we had done to their detriment in, in their view previously. We had put... Tier, in, tiering you're talking about. We had about. tiered it differently on the increment, although most of their customer base was still the way they historically had been carried. Right. And, uh, and we agreed that we would give them full distribution. And so, um, you know, there were puts and takes all, all along. And, uh, uh, but I think, you know, they got a good deal from their point of view. They have the leadership now to make their business successful. You think so? You just said you think it's a great strategy. I mean, I, you run Charter, not Viacom, but yeah, still, it's why, not my job to figure think, out their problems. No, but, but why do you think it's a great strategy? Well, it's, it's a better strategy than what they had. Uh, I think they let their product, from a creative point of view, fall apart, and, uh, and their ratings reflected that. And, uh, and you know, and that affected their ability to uh, negotiate with us. And so, um, but as a result of uh, the negotiation, we had some confidence that they were going to be successful going forward. And uh, you know, it's up to them though to make that happen, sure. not us. Sure. And to and, uh, those networks. But you know, our general view is we want to carry services. We want to have everything there is available from a video perspective, whether it's traditional cable, whether it's Netflix or Hulu or YouTube or any other product that might be out there, um, we want to integrate that into our video packaging, our user interfaces. We want to deliver everything to the customer and make it as good of service as we can make it. Of course, and you want to give them options, one would think, but there are those who say, you know what, Charter's still not offering enough when it comes to what we call these skinnier bundles. Right. Uh, and that you're losing video subs like everybody else, or at least you did last quarter. And that's not going to stop until you give customers more of what they want. And what they want is not to pay for everything, particularly sports. Yes, so there, that's somewhat true. Okay. We, we, you know, we're actually growing our expanded video customer base and losing uh, basic only, uh, lifeline basic only customers. And as we change our customer base into our new pricing and packaging, we expect to grow video, traditional video. And we did it Legacy Charter. It took us a number of quarters um, with the price, pricing and packaging, but we believe in driving high value products into the home. Uh, and we believe that high value products stay with customers and customers so want- what represents a high value product to a, this point that you're making that you can increase A fully subs. featured with lots of content in it. Now, it's true that there's tremendous price pressure and that a lot of consumers can't afford a full video package. And there's a lot more options now than there were. There are a lot more options, except that when you add them all up, right. they cost more. They can. So you, they can, and, unless you want less. And most people don't want to pay more for less. Um, they want more for less. And, right. uh, and, uh, and, and so we, um, we think that there is a market for smaller products, for some customers, and we're targeting customers with those products. We have all of the rights to sell over the top services to, to our data only customer base. We do do that, um, but we still believe fundamentally that um, 
value-rich products, meaning fully featured video products, are what most consumers want to buy. You do. You believe that they do. Yes, we do. Um, hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.